Right guys, we're uh, we're back to another um, piece of land with a little uh, farm support building on. Quite a nice sized piece of land. Um, again, this is a private sale so that you'll be avoiding the uh, the estate agent fees which put boost the price of everything that's for sale out here. Because it's best part of five or six grand is um, estate agent fees. So if you can get it from straight from the owner, you save a a few quid so um, yeah I'll just uh, show you what there is yeah Sam's just faffing about picking up stones and stuff so it's this property here now there is a, a nicely done up house at the side of it so I'll walk you down so it's all this land to the right now I haven't got any figures at the moment but I'll add them in later um, because it's I just haven't got them. So it looks like to me a rough, roughly a hectare of land. So you've got uh, all this treed area. Cork Oaks as well, so you've got Yeah, you've got some income from Cork Oaks. But where the cars parked is a tarmac road that runs along right along the top of this uh, part of the land and then down the other side whether you can see it I'll stick me, me wonky finger up and show you over there is a track that borders the other side of the land so if you look in front of me this wall is the boundary and this pathway which is under um, being, being worked on or has been worked on they're still doing stuff with it takes you down to your water supply because it's got a font here a newly renovated font that feeds your water deposit tank now we're still unsure as whether it's got a uh, um, well but this is the water Perfect drinking water. Yeah. And this we're in beginning of September. No rain for years and there's water running through. So as you can see there. And it goes through and fills your water deposit which is down there. It will need covering to stop the yeah um, yeah some things growing in but that will be drinking water so there's your little stone building i'm gonna hop over the wall and have a look at that we'll find a safe place to hop over i'm not not really a hopper but this is here will do oh right it's quite green like i said we're in in September, so no rain yet. Looks like it's been recently rotivated, so it will be easy to re rotivate it. Yeah. So I said there was a track going down that side, it actually branches off, so it only comes so far down. It comes down over there and then branches off. So the, the back of the building is the border. So it's only a small building what they call a farm support um, and it looks about 25 square meters the walls are very straight door is um, well it's a door and it's got a roof that's at least yeah. protecting me yeah it's got a tin roof but yeah so are the walls all straight and yeah did you see that track? Oh, there is a track. I thought there was, yeah. So, there's a track going down to a house at the bottom. There's just one person down there. Some, uh, an Italian family. So, the family next door over there are French. Um, and as far as we know, it goes right down to the bottom there. So, there's, there's about, I would say there's a hectare, maybe just over. And it's largely flat, with well, slight gradient, but you know nothing. You can't. You could. You could uh, easily drive it with an ordinary car. 
It's a lovely piece of land. Yeah, it is because it's very quiet and private, and especially if you um, if you did something with a little stone building and lived on the lower part of the land. Yeah, I'll um, I'll head back up to the road, and that'll give you an idea of what's going up up there. So your water deposit tank is is a nice stone thing. You're usually knocked up out, out of uh, tijolo and, and concrete. Oh, frog. Oh, yeah, frog just jumped in. There's one over there with its head sticking up. Yeah. That's a good sign if frogs are living in it. It's yeah. good water. There's one sat over there. Can you see Yeah, it? yeah, I can see him there. And it's, uh, it's full to the brim and trickling out the overflow. That's why it's so green here. So like I said, that's uh, right at the end of summer. Oh, little tiny little frog. Was a yeah, little frogs jumping about all over the place. So we've just walked up from the font, and as you can see, it's a good tarmac road. I'm guessing this is the access. So because they've been doing the work on the font, load of building materials which will be cleared away. And then it peters off into a track. Is this a track that takes you to the river? Can't remember. I think it is. Yeah. But we're going to go down and do a video of that river later. Yeah. So we'll show you what you're not far away from. Yeah. As in what? Three minute drive-ish. Yeah, not a long drive. So I walk up the road to the... Uh... <coughs> Oopsie daisy. So electric poles run along the edge of the land, so to get it connected, because it's not got electric, but water. But it's a nice piece of land, it's got some nice trees. So from the road, it's private. So, um, yeah, that's nice. So it just shelters you a little bit from the public. Not there is any public. <laughs> I mean, we've been down this this road to the bottom, and there's I don't know, two or three dwellings maybe. If that. Like I said, this other track that runs across the back of the building takes you down to one person. So this is the track from the top corner of the land. You can see the tarmac road there. Perfectly drivable track. Bring down it. And it takes you down. You can just about see they see it in the distance there. The back of the little red building. Yep. So just a quick add-on to that video. Of that property I've just shown you. So if you carry on down the, the road that the house is on, or the land the house is on, you come to this place. And it's 1.3 kilometres. You can walk it if you want. We didn't, we drove it. And you have a swimming area. So water's not running at the moment. It's seeping through. There is water coming down here because we've seen flow, but that's not a bad spot. Like I said, you can drive down. We've drove down. If you walk further that way, yeah, go on, Sam. If you walk further on a bit, it's yeah. still more of a river, so there's like a bit more flow to the water. Yeah. Just around the corner. And there's a water mill further on. That belongs to the lady that's uh, uh, selling the land, actually. Yeah. Beautiful spot. Gorgeous. Uh, just a little bonus video to uh, tempt you into buying that piece of land. Loads of fish in here, so if you, you, can, you can buy 
buy your fishing license from the Moosey Bank or something. Yeah, 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 from the cash machine. So much, it's, it's peanuts. Yeah, it's so cheap. I think it's, City yeah. Fish. It's something like 15 euro a year. Something like that, yeah. Very cheap, whatever it is, it's very cheap. Yeah. I've been further up this river, up that way. Because there's, um, there's a track that you can uh, drive through this river. And in winter you can't cross it because it's got a fair old flow on it. So that's what you'll get down here. It's just a continuation of that. So, yeah. Lovely. So I'll put uh, contact details in of the lady uh, you need to speak to. Amelia. Um, doesn't speak a word of English. Oh, she she's learnt the word yes. <laughs> but, you know. So if you, you can WhatsApp her and she'll get back to you. But she will do it in Portuguese. Don't try and do it in English or Dutch or whatever. Don't, you know, she, you'll have to speak to her in Portuguese. And I hope this, uh, I hope this one suits suit somebody. We'll get, to, like I said, we'll get some details on later. Um, and that's it. Uh, thanks a lot. And uh, subscribe and like, and we'll see you in the next video. Ciao. Bye. See you later. Bye.